Turn it on. Need I say more? Do you love cakes? Do you love events? Do you love excitement? Do you love glitz and glam? Then this is the show for you. Welcome to Bake That Cake with Dribbles. My name is Tyler Kenneth. Sit back and let's get right into it. So I spoke with Jennifer, the incredible creative director of Jeba's event in Abuja. She wanted a massive castle cake for her couple getting married in Port Harcourt. Hi, Dribbles. Good oh, morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you in here. So what can we yeah. help you with today? Um, so we have an event that we are planning in Port Harcourt. And then the bride wants to go all out for her cake. She wants a big castle cake. And then we know that no other person can achieve that but Dribbles. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. What's our bride's name? What's our couple name? Our um, bride's name is Victoria and the groom's name is Grant. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's all um, white. What's your theme like? What's the yeah. color of the, um, the hall? The color for the decor is black and white. Um, so the theme is fairy tale, crystal, glitz and glamour. You know, that's what we're going for. So all the white is coming in, shimmery, shiny you know crystal kind of effects so that's what we want for the cake as well we want the cake to glitz oh okay the cake is going to glitz all right and our cake is going to be all white we don't want to have black yes, on the cake you know best okay i don't know if you add black if that's going to come out well i don't know but since it's a but castle you... since it's a castle our advice we leave it all white shimmery all you. white i agree with you okay. and then we have lights right what lights or the light Yes, yes, yeah, sure. Lights. Yeah, we're going to have lights in the towers, in the whole castle. Okay, then I can wait. Yeah. And I'm going to do a sketch, send to okay. you, and then you give it to the couple for approval. Mm -hmm. Now, after this call, okay. we're going to do all that, and I'll forward to you. Okay. Oh. Our client wanted an all-white, really big castle cake to fit into the fairy tale design the bride wanted for her wedding. This was a challenge we were very excited about, so we went straight to work. I called in the team for a brainstorming session so we can dissect the cake to take on our different roles. So guys, we have a big project at hand. Another castle cake. But this time, massive. This is about seven feet tall. Are we ready? Wow. wow. <laughs> That's massive. <laughs> and this time, I want it hexagon. Like, I want the towers. You see those towers? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes, 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 ma'am
Sure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so there are shows on this. Okay. So, so uh, since we are putting lights, tape lights here, mm. and tape lights here, I guess that we put uh, off white, which is yellow bulbs on this one, to make them reflect dim. You said off white, which one is off white? It's, um, it's warm white. Warm white, not off white, okay, warm white, yeah. yellow bulb. Yeah, Maybe yellow bulb. Nice. Yeah, so it's really nice. Anyways, I understand that look, like dim. Yeah, um, dim. Okay, okay, that'll be fine. So. The, the thing I want is I want this cake to look very good and you know they want glitz and glam. That's what she said. So okay. let's not forget that. When I heard about the castle cake and I saw um, the picture discussion about it, the director precisely told me that uh, I will be the one in charge of the digital work, the size and um, the towers. And she said she doesn't want square. She wants hexagon. And I was like hexagon. You just go out from there and I was like, I'm not going to do this thing. Like, this is going to be very difficult for me to lay my hands on. We're all about glitz and glam on this cake. So everything should come out well. Now, our base cakes are all going to be hexagon, the same design. What's the size of this? I think the board will have about uh, uh, six feet. Six feet board. That's the base? Yeah, the base will be about six feet. That's a big one. Yeah. We can yeah. have it full. Um, that's what we'll... The market the board. I like okay. separate the board into two. Into halves, like this, yeah, into two. Half, um, okay. So we we'll just take fat by fat. Let's try out our dummy, okay? And see how it goes, then we'll cut all our foam core. Let's start. Okay. Well. Ready? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Good. Our clients specifically requested for glitz and glam. And as you all know, that's in our DNA. Our cake is seven feet tall, six feet wide, with five floors and about 25 towers around the cake. We had lights on each floor on the staircase and around the base of the board. We use parchment paper to cover the windows to reduce the intensity of light. Guys, sit back and let's clam this cake off. So guys, work in progress. We started by creating the structure using a template design we created from a software. Um, this is foam core, feeling very light, part of the tower. The castle has lots of pieces. Um, we're going to have like some six tiers of this, some five, but this base is about how many? Seven inches. Seven inches. So we're doing one inch away from each other until we build it very tall. Now we're working with foam core. We have our parchment paper and our templates in cardboard. Okay, very flat cardboard, which we're going to merge together to form this. And then what he's doing now is coupling them together with this gum. You know, okay, so we have this. And watch this, we've already fixed our um, electrical work here. We had our electrician fixing his bulb on each tower. The idea was to carry all the pieces to the venue and couple them all together. We had different sugar molds on the angles of the tower to beautify the entire structure. We use the same method for the five floors going on the castle. Now, the client said she wanted glitz and glam. And I dare say we understood the assignment. Now, the um, fondant mold is making this really firm, so it does not give way. This should be straight, this should be straight, so it's bent here now. Look at it, see, 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 we'll do this one. Okay. Now, we'll do this, see, 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 this one is bent. I will change this, I will change it. Try it out, so please take yes. it out, yeah? Okay. Make sure it's straight, see, let yes. it be in front of you. Yeah? All right, The joining should be neat, please. Okay, ma'am. And see, this one is tilting, this one is tilting, so we'll have um, to this will fix it with rising. Okay, to so make it straight. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, this is good. Did you use your plumb? No, I'll use my pen when I catch the two edges. I'm kind of trying to cover the top. And as well, I'm trying to make it look plumb so uh, when other castles are standing on top, it will stay still and everything is balanced. No, 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 What's some some different. Yeah, they're not the same. The um, the style of the look at it now. This is two. You have two. You have three. Why? Um, I was getting a strand. Hmm? I was getting a strand. Yeah, but you must watch now to make sure everything is all right. Have a, by, by the time you turn the light on, you see some will have three and some will have three. Uh, two. All right. 
we're almost done molding this part. By the time we're done, we'll take it over here where we'll add in more embellishment, like the sugar molds, okay? And then before we begin to pile them up. I'm done covering the four parts. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it for the electrician to do his wiring. And then when the electrician is done, I'll just cover the remaining parts and then set it to the molds so they can design the open edges and make it more useful. The mold is just to add more beauty to it since there was spacing on this uh, hexagon shape. So, and also for the light not to shine out from this opening. I've been just like, maybe it will be like the last one we do. But when she comes make mention of phone call, using phone call for the towers and I say, ah, phone call. At first, I've been able to say, yes, this thing, this one is too light like this, because even small breeze, they, they blow the tower. But after we bring, uh, we couple them, arrange them, pull mood, can't make a day more firm. Now we started designing our cake. We had several hexagon cakes going on this castle. Here we have our stacked fruit cakes and four sheets, properly stacked and neatly shaped. We're going to be adding buttercream as the crumb coating, and then later on, we'll panel this cake with fondant. Then the surface. I hope we have a board underneath. Yeah. A flat yes. board. Yes. Okay. Now, after this process, we're going to um, begin to attach our panels one after the other. Now, this process is not going to be that difficult. We're not going to be stressing, massaging the edges to make sure it's crisp and sharp. We just lay them, cut them, because we're going to have some molds, okay, to seal up the edges. Now, this is one. We have seven more of this same hexagon, same design going around the base cake. We started by crumb coating the sides of the hexagon cake. Afterwards, we attached the fondant panels on the sides, massaging gently to cut out the excess. Now, we continue that until all the sides were properly done. This is the method we use in cutting or covering our square cakes. The only difference is that the hexagon has more sides than the square. So now our sides are all ready. We're going to use our templates here to cut out our top. Okay, so it just makes it very easy and very quick. We'll wet this surface with water, just water, okay, so they seal up properly. Now, we use a template to cut out the top, we rolled out the fondant, placed the template on top, cutting out the top, and we placed on the cake. Yeah, now, so if you don't have a the acrylic um, type, you can just cut out your cardboards and then do the same. Now, this is ready. Um, all we need to do next is to cut out the excess and then we will start attaching our molds to bring out the details. We had lovely molds to go on the angles of the cake. We had formed and cut out in squares, set aside to firm up a bit before going on the cake. And lastly, we had our little cherubs to go on the side of the cake. Cherubs. <laughs> So all our hexagons are covered in fondant, some already detailed around the edges. We'll be attaching um, some molds to embellish this cake. Yep, we'll fix them, they're all done. We'll begin to attach them gradually, like so. Hannah, can you get me a ruler, please? Hmm? Thank you. Wet this side, also wet this side. Knife. This is what I've done. Mm? Like this, like this. Continue. Fix it down. Now fix this part, okay? Before you go ahead here. And then cut the angle. And you do the same. Do it all around. Take this one. I need to work on the dry ones. Thank you. This particular one is dry. It's set and dry. And we have these panels which we rolled and cut out. And it stayed overnight, so it's very firm. This one now, we can't lift this up now because if you lift up, you might, you know, change the shape from the four equal sides, okay? So we let that dry properly before we lift them up. This is semi-dry, so we'll work with this. And now since this is dry and this is dry and you want them to stay, you know, firm, I'll use real icing. Here. And then 
all we need to do is gauge it or you use your ruler. Yeah, I can use my eyes actually to gauge. Do have those angels? Do have those? <laughs> do, we, do we have those? Do we have those cherubs? Can I have one? Okay. <laughs> cherubs. <laughs> okay, do we have those cherubs? Cherubs, right? to go ahead to add in more moons here um, to make it look even more balanced. Now the whole idea about this panel before the cherubs was to give it that 3D effect. Now we've done this we're going to seal it up with uh, rope molds. Are these rope molds? No, bead molds. So it looks like pearls around it. We've we'll wet the edges with water. Now this particular mold has given it a different look. By the time we're done, we're going to add some shimmers around it. Remember, our client requested for glitz and dawn. So we're going to do this around all our hexagon cakes and we'll be right back. The sugar flowers were being handcrafted by our florist. She made sure we had several dozens ready to go on the cake. This saved us much later when we were setting up the cake. Sorry. We need to do the flower for castle cake. Five rubber each person, five rubber each person, that is 10. Inside one rubber now, but the big size, 48 dozen. Then the small size, gonna be 50 dozen for each. We packed up our boards, flowers, structures, tools, and ready to go set up at the venue a day before the wedding. about the towers? Do you still have more towers? No, Except the what? No. Okay. So this, this bus is good. This van is alright. I'm thinking, I think that other big bus can enter Yes, you can. Bring them, fold it quickly. Yeah. Two of them. Abuja. Yes. Oh, how was your trip? Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, so before we start, let's get set up another table. I'm sure that table is meant for the caterers. So we can work with that table, right? Bring in everything. But first the board down here. So the capital can do his work and then before we cover. We're here on time, it's about 2.30 p.m. It's a very good time to work. The hall is like 85% done, which is very good for us. There's not much work going around here, so it's time for us to start installing our cake. This is the perfect time for us, guys. So sit back and let's wait to see how it's turning out. We got into the hall settled in and got down to business. And first thing we did was to make sure our cake table was sturdy enough to carry the weight of the cake. And merging the two halves of our base board together to make it one. Now, because our base board is six feet, we couldn't come with it that full. We had to split into two, like equal half. What they're doing right now is merging them together so we can actually set them here before we begin to do the installation. <laughs> Let's roll our phone now and begin to cover that base before we start anything. What? Too thick, right? I think it's not enough. Don't, don't say that to me. Because I've been talking about fondant. You better request for fondant quickly, please. 
small one. I was telling you guys now, don't just look at it and say it's two bags. You should know what you are coming to do. We need three more bags of fondant. Of fondant? Mm -hmm. um, two packs of serviettes. Then, then, yes. Then How many dumpling bags? About like four, four, five. Okay. And what else again? Okay, I think that's that. We need it now. We need it now, please. Been struggling from the ground, uh, from the table. We noticed it from the table. You know, said, "Come, this thing is like this. I feel it too." I thought it was my eyes. Let me. Let's have the plum. Give me the plum. This side not high pass. It is show so yellow. Mm. structure was set and we decided to finish up with the installation the next day. Now when we came in, we were met with several challenges but we overcame them one after the other. Did you try the light and was it okay? The side part? Okay. Where are the cakes? Where are the cakes? Where are the cakes? Okay. We first noticed the sugar flowers had melted because of the humidity in the hall. We had to replace all of them. Thankfully, we had more than enough. When we come go the following day, everything done for finish. Constant like this, come tired because all the flowers and they fine. So now, nah, one reason say, I know just worry myself. You say we already do the flowers. Then it won't work. Our flowers too. <laughs> Our flowers too. It won't work. Let's just have this. Gift, don't bother about that. We're going to, don't bother about that. We're going to have flowers down here. We can't, we can't fix that. Design changed. When we fixed the first cake, we noticed there was no more space at the top as originally planned where the flowers were meant to be. So we changed the original plan by fixing our flowers at the base of the cake instead of the top. Design changed, design changed, please. See, we're in soup. Come, come, innocent. On that day, when they set up the castle, Mala can say she want to change the design because the space for the flower has been put up. Can they small land to contain the flower? So she can't say she want to change it. I you hear that one, man, I take off. I just find somewhere they make sure the flower person do their thing.
It was crunch hour, everyone was working to finish up. We continued to fix in the cake and added finishing touches to the castle. I was feeling very anxious, but by the time we finished with the cake, turned on the light, all my worries melted away. After a while, when they don't fix up the flower, set them up, uh, so I come back and see them. <laughs> but things just go, everybody they snap, you see picture, joy like this, just. Oh. Then I went change now, I can't even find past the old one where we want to. So I can't be happy. Madam, I'm really trash out because that pressure we've been there that day, even she said, I don't know, say that, design, that idea will even stay, stay entire head the way this thing come out. So. Now the cake was magnificent, exceptional, and standing tall at the end of the hall. I discovered that we have to change the design, the whole stuff, because of uh, what we planned was not what we saw when we came here. But the most important thing is the, is the design that we changed today. I was not expecting it to look this beautiful, but finally, after we finished with the design, it was more beautiful than what we expected. The event planner came in and was so excited to see the finished work. Later on, the couple came in and their reaction was priceless. Now, this made all the sleepless nights and months of hard work finally clear. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Madibuku. I'm the creative director of JBAS Events. Um, we are the planners for today's event, Grant and Victoria. So talking about our beautiful cake, I'm so happy with what Dripple's cake has done. I knew that she was going to deliver 100%. Um, cake is beautiful. I can't wait to see the bride's reaction. I'm sure she's going to love it. Just beautiful from our lovely couple, 
the decor and the castle cake as the center of attraction. They cut the cake, had their first dance, and we are just happy to have been part of their love story. So finally, we're done with Victoria and Grant's castle cake. It was a huge success. The event planner loved it. The bride was so excited about it. This is the kind of result we love to see. And until next time, cheer. It's a wrap for today's episode. I'm grateful to my very energetic, relentless Drupal crew for this project. And until next time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.